Hello viewers, welcome to another my class. Today we want to estimate regression parameters. So we have this general regression form. Don't forget that this is a multivariate form. And here we have that our y equals to xb plus what? Plus epsilon plus e, if it stands for the error term. And this is the parameter we want to estimate. So before we proceed, don't forget that our e is normally distributed with mean zero and variance sigma square. So we can also estimate that. But this is our area of our concentration. So we have this. Rewriting this given equation, we can rewrite our e to be equals to y minus x b. That is, we're looking at the deviation of the um, observation, okay, from the mean. So that is the what's it called the error. So with this. Our epsilon prime epsilon is the same thing as having y minus x beta prime, which stands for the epsilon prime or transpose. Either way, let me call it the transpose. Y minus this. Okay? So let this be what? The Q. So by so doing, we can have, we want to um, distribute. So we can have the Q to be y prime multiplied by y. Don't forget, this is a matrix multiplication. So we need to be very cautious. We're going to have y prime y. y prime multiplied by xb. We're going to have negative y prime xb x beta multiplied by y, we're going to have beta prime x prime y. Now, I need to explain something here. Looking at this, this is a transpose value. So I'm using prime in case of transpose. So I didn't say x prime b prime. No, it's going to be what in reverse order. So that is when you have a, b, c transpose. So if you want to bring this out, it's going to be c prime b prime, a prime. That's the rule. Okay, so the same thing is being used here. So the last one is to multiply this by this. So here we're going to have plus b prime, x prime, xb. So there's another thing we need to take note of, and that is um, the issue of um, transpose. Looking at these two, we're going to see that y prime x beta, if this is being transposed, is going to be the same thing as beta prime x prime y. That shows that the transpose of this is the same thing as this. So we're going to be the same, they're going to be the same. So here we have q to be equals to y prime y minus 2 beta prime x prime y plus beta prime x prime x beta. The multiplication is possible because we take cognizant of the order, the dimension of this. So if the dimension contradicts, then the multiplication cannot be done. From this equation, we're going to di um, differentiate with respect to the parameter we want to estimate, which is the beta. So here, I'm having my dq, the beta. I'm going to differentiate this q with respect to beta and equate the answer to 0. So with this, I'm going to have differentiating this with respect to beta. No, there's no beta, no parameter here. It's going to be 0. Differentiating this with respect to beta, so here I'm going to have negative 2x prime y. Differentiating this with respect to beta, this is like having beta squared. So differentiating, so it's like you having beta prime x prime y. It's like this is being squared. So this is going to come to the back. So we have 2 x prime x beta equals to 0. This has been estimated. So with this, we can have 2 x prime 
x beta equals to 2x prime y. Dividing both sides by 2. Okay? So don't forget this is a matrix multiplication. So we want to get rid of the coefficient of the beta, which is s prime x. So this is going to be beta prime, beta cap equal x prime x inverse is a matrix x prime y. So this is the general form of our parameter beta. Now we want to estimate. And part of what we're going to do here is that we've known the value of beta to be this. So how do we get our expectation of beta and also the variance of beta? We have beta cap to be equals to x prime x inverse x prime y. So here we want to find the expectation of our beta cap. And our objective is that to show that it, has an, it is an unbiased estimate. And don't forget that we have y equals to x beta plus e. And expectation of y is going to be x beta plus the expectation of epsilon. And recall that our epsilon follows a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma squared. That shows that expectation of epsilon is going to be 0. So our expectation of y is going to be x beta. So here, I'm having the expectation of x beta cap. So which is the same thing as saying x prime x inverse x prime, the expectation of y. Now, because these are predictor variables, right? The x are the predictor variables. Okay. So, here we have x prime x inverse x prime. Expectation of y is the same thing as x beta, which is the same thing as x beta. Now, looking at these two matrix, s prime x inverse multiplied by x prime x. So this shows that this is just going to be what? It's going to be 1. So here we can have our beta. So it shows that it's an unbiased estimate. Secondly, we need to estimate the variance of beta also. We have the variance of beta cap to be the variance of the beta cap, which is the same thing as this. We're going to plug in the value of this x prime x inverse x prime y. Here, I'm going to take you through a quick review of something. Don't forget that if you have the variance of ax, whereby a is a constant, the rule is that we're going to have what? a squared variance of x. The constant is going to be squared. And if it is a matrix form, if you want to leave it in matrix form, it's the same thing as a variance of x a prime. So I'm going to use this second um, approach. Okay. So <coughs> this is going to be my constant. This is going to be my a. x prime x inverse x prime is going to be my a in this regard. So using the same approach, I'm going to have my a coming out, which is s prime x inverse x prime. So the variance of my y, variable y, and then the transpose of this, a transpose. So I'm going to take the transpose of this. And taking the transpose from the previous explanation I did is going to be in reverse order. So this is going to be x x prime x inverse, in reverse order. So it's going to come like this. And the transpose of x prime is going to be x. So we have x prime x inverse. 
Don't forget that the variance of y is the same thing as sigma squared. So I can have this as sigma squared. That is the variance of y is the same thing as sigma squared. So here I have my s prime s inverse x prime. Then I'm having my x here. And here I'm having my x prime x inverse. So this goes. So therefore, I can say that the variance of my beta cap is going to be sigma squared x prime x inverse. So that's the second thing I'm going to do. And lastly, is I'm looking at the point estimate of our parameter beta. I'm going to clean this. So doing that, I'm going to have, for that, for the point estimate, the rule is that um, you have the parameter you want to take. For instance, we have b ten b net plus b one x one. This is the general form of a linear equation. Okay, so for instance, you are interested in Estimating B1. The general form is very easy, which is your B1 minus the expectation of your B1 over what? The standard error of your what? Of your B1. That's just the general form. The parameter itself minus what? Minus the mean of the parameter over the word, the standard. Deviation, standard error of the parameter. Standard error of the parameter. So that is just the general form for what your point estimates. So here I'm going to stop. In my next video, I'm going to proceed by looking at some other um, factors and properties of what of um, regression. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Thank you.